if he doesn't redesign this sidebar successfully in production code, he will be buzz cutting his hair. <laughs> Today, we are gonna do a 24 hour vibe coding challenge with my boy, Harrison. He will be redesigning a side navigation bar of Flowglad, a real app. This is not some AI slop. Let, let me see what I could build in 24 hours. I'm going to be actually doing something that's backend related. I'm going to be hooking up my super base to my real deployed project called OptiPrompt. Actually, I probably should just like go over next to you, right? If you need an excuse to be near me, you know, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I, dude, I have, I have a note on my phone about like all the ways I can get close to you. <laughs> We're about five minutes into the challenge and we've done nothing. So I'd say it's actually going really well. A good place to start is identifying where that component actually lives in the code base of which we both have no idea. So that's probably, that's probably a good place to start. Two hours later. And hello, hello, welcome today. <laughs> welcome to my tutorial. Um, <laughs> Or maybe just ask, ask Winsor, ask Winsor, how do I start? No, it's, that's more so like, cause it's... All right, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is actually really cool. So there's like yeah. a whole set of terminal commands that we're both really unfamiliar with. So essentially what we're trying to do is, he's made some edits to this branch of code. Side nav, Perfect. side nav, shad cn. That upgrade. Yeah. So you might be asking, how's this 24 hour challenge going? I forgot an audio cord. Not well. <laughs> so not so well. well. <laughs> and by the way, I haven't started my, I've been helping Harrison. I haven't even started my shit. <laughs> Dude, let's go. <laughs> uh, what's really cool about like using, so uh, what's really cool about using these AI tools. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, what's really cool about these AI tools is that you don't need to have like perfect technical expertise in the execution side of things. And what I mean by that is like, you don't need to know the exact git commands to create a new branch from the main branch, right? But you gotta know what branches are to be able to prompt the AI tool to do the thing that you wanted it to do. So in, in, this, in this sense, like we're learning, we're learning how to code without needing to be perfect in the execution, which actually expedites our learning pretty, pretty quickly. You know what I mean? I, I was on the Very nice. So here's gonna be the workflow that I'm thinking that we should do for, for Flowclad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the Shatian component as it comes, and then we're gonna compare and contrast code in incrementally, we're gonna make changes to the sidebar to ensure that it looks the same. We're basically gonna be copying code, but like making it work. You know what I mean? Are you talking, are you talking to me? Very nice. Whether I'm designing or vibe coding a new interface, the place that I always find myself going back to is Mobbin. If you're unfamiliar with Mobbin, it's a really great library of real world inspiration from companies like OpenAI, from Uber, from Assembly. And don't get me wrong, I still like doing some experimental stuff here and there, but it's just great to have a one place library that you can go to to find real world inspiration for real world apps. So then when you're actually creating something, you know, you're you're not reinventing the wheel when you don't have to. And I really love how well designed all these like micro interactions are. You could tell they spent a lot of time with the craft of how this all works. Some of these even have videos, which is really cool because you get to see like step by step how certain micro interactions work. So if you haven't already, go check out Mobbin. They have a free tier so you can start using them today as inspiration. Check out Mobbin if you haven't already. Guys, we got the cable that we needed to film. And that's the thing that like you, you're not thinking about. Like we gotta do the 24 hour challenge and then film ourselves doing it. And then I gotta look goofy with this, <laughs> this POV. Holy cow, I would never. Bro, am I am I ready or what? Dude, uh, actually. <laughs> Very nice. Should I, should I walk? Bro, it's your reputation. 
are we are we real content creators right now or what dude like i'm just saying the things i do for you the audience is insane you, you like this video because like this is what i'm doing for you entertainment value why haven't we vibe coded yet i don't know it's not looking good <laughs> dude what if like why see people watch this and they're like yeah definitely not funding that guy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How we doing, boys? How we doing? Dude, this fucking sucks. <laughs> We're having a tough time right now. <laughs> It's been a couple hours. I've been helping Harrison. <laughs> I've been helping Harrison try to like troubleshoot some basic like development server things. He's using a different package manager. I think he's using PMPM and I'm using NPM. Anyways, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but it's cool because I'm also learning as well. Anyway, uh, the task that I have here for me today is to actually connect uh, my Superbase onto this. Um, specifically, I need to set up my MCP server. So for context, I've asked it to the other day to basically help me set up a data database a structure you know basically there's prompt templates there's profiles there's bookmarks and all that sort of stuff I'm sure this is gonna change but basically what I want to do now is I want to set up an MCP server and connect to uh, my windsurf and so I'm gonna try to figure that out okay for example here is cursor building and not superbase app fetch a superbase URL and on this key then save it to Okay, cool. I already, I already did this. One eternity later. Ah, uh, here we go. Wow. This is me correcting the AI, dude. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and again, the only way that I did this was by just reading documentation. Yeah. It's like, oh, actually, you're wrong. The documentation says this. You're a dummy. You're, I'm you're taking your job. <laughs> And while I'm super excited to code with AI, my portfolio is built with a no-code tool. My portfolio is built on Framer. I just want something to build a quality website really fast, and I don't want to think about the code. I want to just build my portfolio and make it look beautiful without having to worry about Tailwind CSS, Shastian components. I want an easy, seamless experience, and that is exactly what Framer is all about. And the really cool thing about Framer is they have this like workshopper AI tool, which you can just like prompt a custom code component, which I think is really dope. And the thing is, you want to use the right tool for the job. I'm not going to use Windsurf to create a portfolio. That'd take me forever. You know what I mean? If I'm going to custom code something, it's going to be, be because I can't do it in Framer with its current functionality today. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out Framer. I really love them. And I'm going to continue building websites on Framer and using no code tools like Framer even though I'm vibe coding. Cancel me. What you gonna do about it, bruh? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do here is I just wanna prompt ChatGPT and say like, I wanna pay, display featured categories from my uh, Supabase database on my homepage. Please tell me how I can do this. And let me actually start a new chat because this is the primary thing. All right. Actually doesn't know of like my tables. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back. Um, please analyze my database via my Superbase MCP server to get an understanding of what I have so far. Yes. yes. Here's, okay, public schema. Create the view in Superbase, open SQL editor, dashboard, or execute this. Okay, copy, go to my Superbase, go to SQL editor, new SQL snippet. Success, no rows returned. So, I don't have any data, so I think that's probably the problem. Now, please help me populate a sample. Able. Yay, it looks like I have. It looks like I've populated some data to in my database, which is great. Home page. Now, please. I think I might do it, bro. I think I might do it. Oh, I think I know what's, what's going on. Okay. Yes. Beam and wait. Come on. I feel like I'm so close. You know? Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, 
I just fucking did it, dude. Whoa. <laughs> I am honestly so surprised because in about what five hours we've actually made a significant amount of progress. I actually connected my backend Superbase into my project and loaded it up onto the homepage with an MCP. So the MCP was there as a fail safe in case I fuck something up. It was basically to have the AI give me SQL uh, commands to run on Superbase so I can add, you know, fake data and add the phosphor icons and like all that sort of stuff. Uh, so basically I just used it as a fail safe because I didn't want the AI to tell me or give me incorrect information, which it did. Yeah. Which yeah, it you, did. You had said that before. Yeah, so I actually, I'm actually real surprised. I didn't think I would do it <laughs> as quickly as I did. And he actually got a sidebar populated. He brought in the component. Yes. And actually did it. So. Yeah. Did I learn how to fully code today? No. Did I get one step closer to that? Yes, definitely. So I'm not shaving my head, which is sick, but there are still a few things that I want to do, like changing the icon components. I also want to change the colors, but that's at a global level. And I think that that's a little bit difficult to do from what you're telling me. Yeah. And there are, there's a test mode within that sidebar that I'm not going to be touching because that has to, I think just like my, my co-founder would kill me. <laughs> and then authentication, we're using stack off and it has a component at the bottom beneath documentation and discord that I'm also not going to be touching. And then there is data being fed to where it currently says application. I'm also not going to be touching that. So uh, apart from those three things i'm gonna give myself a pat on the back yeah and i'm also gonna give you a pat on the back <laughs> my guy oh yeah yeah so where's the trash can <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I'm super proud. I'm, pr I'm actually proud of us. I think yeah. as a theme, the lesson is while extremely frustrating and at times really discouraging when things don't work. Incredibly discouraging. Really discouraging. Especially when your local host doesn't work and you're like, what the fuck? Like, why is yeah. it not working? But it's actually part of the process and it's how we learn. And that is so corny. But it's really tr it's it's so, true. It's, it's so true. true. <laughs> you know? It also is corny with a K. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're vibe coding in a real project and you're feeling really overwhelmed and frustrated, that's probably a good sign that you're actually pushing outside your comfort zone and you're learning something. Yeah. And I would encourage you to keep going and to look at that and, and embrace it. All right, so unfortunately, you know, this 24 hour challenge was completed in uh, like six to seven hours. Yeah. I mean, I am mad about it. It just shows also how much we have undersold our, our own skills and our our capabilities. Yeah, if this was our estimate, should we just actually get started on another challenge? Another challenge? And go harder? <laughs> <laughs> okay, post in the comments down below. I know this was like a baby challenge, but post in the comments down below, like what would be a good 24 hour challenge uh, that you'd want us to do for next time? 